YouTube, it's time for a book review, and it's by my favorite author, Jude Devereaux. Okay, so Jude Devereaux, she wrote um, Scarlet and Nice, that's her most recent book that just came out. I also have read that book, um, but it was a hot book at the library, so I had to return it in one week and I didn't have time to do a review. So I will do a review on it, I just won't have the actual book in my hand. But um, the reason I mention this is because this book is... Um, the second book in the series, and then Scarlet Nights is the third book in the series. This one's called Days of Gold. Now, the first and the third book in the series um, are like present day set. This book is set in uh, olden days, the days of gold, and um, the first book, just so you know, it is called Lavender Morning, and the interesting thing is I didn't really even like that book that much, but um, I did enjoy this one, and I did enjoy um, Scarlet Nights. So, they're not really part of a huge, they really don't make that much sense in it. See, that this is a really bad description. Basically, the books are kind of all intertwined, but not, they're not like a series, meaning you have to read them in order. Um, they're not like the Twilight books. They're just, have some, they don't have characters in them that are really that much the same even. Um, this one almost should have been the first book in the series because it talks about how this town was founded. Okay. I'm going to read you what it says in the book. <laughs> in 1766, Scotland, the lord of a clan, Angus McTurn, has everything he wants in life. Although his grandfather lost the family's land and castle in a card game when Angus was just a boy, Angus takes his duties seriously and is respected by all the men and adored by the women. That is, until Edelin Talbot shows up. Breathtakingly beautiful and born of privilege, Edelin presents everything Angus despises. Still, he is an as dazzled by her as everyone else is, and he can keep his feelings hidden from her for only so long. When she rejects him, he is deeply wounded and worse, humiliated before his clan. But then the day comes when Edelin agrees, when Edelin needs Angus's help to reclaim the gold she inherited from her father, which is on its way to America. At first, Angus refuses, but her beauty and her tears so haunt him that he puts aside his pride and decides to aid the heiress. However, when Angus tries to intervene, he's accused of kidnapping and theft. To avoid being prosecuted, he's forced to leave behind all that he knows and loves and escapes with Edelin to America. There they will overcome almost insurmountable obstacles as they are pursued endlessly by the men who claims the gold for his own. Despite all that, um, despite all that tries to keep them apart, uh, despite all that tries to keep them apart, Angus and Edelin also find uh, a love as wild and free as the land itself. The second book in the multi-generational Edelin series that began with Lavender Morning, Days of Gold is filled with passion, humor, exquisite detail, and pulse-pounding adventure. Stirring and masterfully rendered, this is Jude Devereux at her best. Um, so yeah, this is about um, uh, a, a young woman who is like the best of the best of the queen of the crop, the royalness, sort of. And um, she has a wicked like uncle that takes her, tries to take her um, her wedding dowry basically, um, and tries to force her to marry someone. And she's like all not into that business, so she asks Angus for his help. And, you know, if he helps her, he's going to be, like, accused of theft and kidnapping. So, um, he does help her, but, um, there's some mishaps along the way, and there's some fun characters, so I do recommend the book. And especially if you like Scotland and, um, historical fiction and things like that. So, there it is.